In this uh, tutorial, we will consider the use of centrifugal force in uh, separation processes. And we will develop an expression for calculating terminal velocity. Now consider that we have a cylindrical vessel that contains a liquid and this vessel is uh, rotated on its axis. The centrifugal force will cause any particles that may be present in the liquid that have higher density than the liquid to move towards the periphery of this vessel. Now the acceleration due to centrifugation is variable as it depends upon the distance from the axis and the rotational speed. So in terms of symbols, the acceleration will depend on this distance r from the central axis and the angular velocity omega and we use the units radians per second uh, for angular velocity. The acceleration in this case will be r times omega square. Recall that Stokes expression allows us to determine the terminal velocity u as d square times the density of the particles minus density of the fluid multiplied by a the acceleration divided by 18 mu. Recall from the previous tutorial that we were considering earlier the acceleration due to gravity. So instead of a we had used the term g for acceleration due to gravity. But here we have acceleration a and that acceleration a is r times omega square. Now note that the angular velocity omega can also be expressed as 2 pi times n divided by 60, where n is the rotational speed given as revolutions per minute or RPM. So if we substitute omega in our expression, we get the final Stokes expression for a case where we have centrifugal force and that expression is u equals d square in parentheses rho p which is density of particles minus rho f that's density of the fluid times r times 2 pi n over 60 square divided by 18 mu. In another tutorial we will look at the use of this expression in calculating terminal velocity when we have centrifugal force.